Mosquito is finally here. I'm Steph, and together with my husband Lee, we live an alternative lifestyle in a four-wheel camper and a Land Rover Defender, aka Grizzly and Bear. We bought the camper in January 2017, secondhand in Germany. It's a pop-top camper and it is also removable, so we can keep our home and our vehicle separate when needed. The setup is very compact and our height stays under 2.5 meters. There are various water sources in the world, and it's always an excitement to find one. We try to don't buy small plastic bottles anymore, and we use those metal bottles instead. They are very good to keep water fresh, but we can also use them for tea or coffee. Our camper holds an 80 liter water tank. We fill it up whenever we can using a big bottle and a funnel. <laughs> we also add a few drops of disinfectant in the tank, just in case. We can monitor our water level inside the camper, pressing that button. And this is the water pump switch. We use this water mainly for brushing teeth, doing the dishes, and of course for the outside shower. Fifty liter potable water tank, which goes under the the seats. In the car, we have a food grade plastic water tank. It is used only for potable water. The tap is located under the car. But we've been drinking the water out of the taps here. We're not. 100% sure of it, I think it's okay. It's nice and clear, this water. But what we're gonna do now, just to be sure, is use this thing that we've got. Our SteriPen, which is an ultraviolet light water sterilizer, and this one does bacteria and uh, viruses. So, it takes about 45 seconds to do one liter of water. Stick it in, press the button once, and there it goes. And they can just give it a bit of a stir. We do have a MSR water filter as well, but we use that one if there's like sediment and dirt in the water. Cheers. Filtering some snow. It's not the fastest process, is it? That's all right. Eh? We go all the time. Uh, and because we're always having to do some mechanical stuff, we have this paste. hand wash or laundry and I have to admit I quite like it I find it relaxing <laughs> when we are in nature I use an organic soap but when the laundry is too dirty or when I have access to a proper drain I like to use those pods for the bedding and the towels I prefer to go to the laundry or laundromat to dry, I use flat cotangas, and this is my magic clothesline. I love it. It is elastic, and I don't need to use pegs anymore. It is perfect for small items such as socks and underwear. And also when it's raining, we can do the drying inside, but it's preferable to go to the dryer. No shortage of storage in our camper. This drawer goes um, all the way under the camper. It is perfect for uh, rock climbing equipment. And also we put the legs of the camper in there. 
and on the side we can have ah oh, gum boots <laughs> this is our table um, boxes with various things and here some uh, training equipment so inside the camper starting with the fridge uh, we can store quite a lot of food in that fridge I find those little boxes that wasn't easy to find the perfect size we have a freezer um, so that's it for the fridge homemade uh, wooden boxes more storage this is our cooking equipment we can store quite a lot of food in that camper I love those little pockets, they are made by my mom using placemats. You know the thing you put under your plate, I don't know how do you call it. Every space has to be utilized at its maximum, even the smaller spaces. This is uh, our clothes, our least clothes. One box for t-shirt, one box for pants, we've got a box for electronic and another box for a winter item this is my socks and underwear and my clothes are stored under the cushion there I've got also a little net my t-shirts and my pants and here the hot water unit that we never use and I put the light uh, item in here Our camper is equipped with a double burner stove using propane. But unfortunately, it can be a problem uh, sometimes to refill the bottle. The gas is used for hot water, as I mentioned before, we don't use hot water, cooking and a um, heater, which we don't use also because it creates condensation. It is located in this little storage, but it is quite narrow and we find hard to find a bottle that fits that space. We have this uh, domestic little device that tells you the level of gas. It is quite handy. Oh, Dometic alcohol stove! It is great, it's a gift from Euro Camper. It is quite efficient. You can cook anywhere, outside, inside. It has no cord, it's great. Uh, the problem is the denature alcohol is not available in some countries. The jet boil boils water really fast. Uh, we take it when we do overnight hikes to cook uh, some pre-made food like this type of food or noodles. And also to make coffee on the side of the road. That's your coffee. <laughs> it's my coffee. Yeah, I don't drink coffee when I climb because I get shaky. We love cooking on coals. It's delicious. I need to find wood. Got my climbing backpack and I'm going to use that to fill it with wood and my saw and my little axe in there as well and we'll go and uh, see what we can find. But it requires a lot of preparation, a lot of energy, a lot of time, another half hour or so, and a lot of patience. But at the end it's so much worth it and very satisfying. Our camper is equipped with a 160 watt solar panel the original flexible panel didn't survive the Moroccan heat. Now we have this one from Euro Camper in uh, Spain, Sevilla. And it is touch wood, very good. Uh, the battery are getting charged also when we are driving. We have a dual battery system. It's also storage. <laughs> and a Victron system. That's our charging power management system. It shows you your main battery, the auxiliary battery, which is the car battery, and we're not connected to the car right now, so it's showing zero. The amperage, we're not using anything right now, really. So the fridge, but it's not drawing too much. That's, it. that's our charge, 63%, because we had a really cloudy day yesterday and not much solar. And that's a Bluetooth as well, so I can go on an app on my phone and check out how many hours worth of power we've got left, etc. 
Most of our electronic items are rechargeable with USB or 12 volt, and that includes laptop, Kindle, camera battery, drone batteries, headlamp, but we still need a normal power for my vacuum cleaner, Liz shaver, and the battery of the cordless drill. We use it for the legs of the camper to jack them up and also for some random things. We no longer go to the hairdresser. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is such a good idea or not, but... We no longer buy coffee at the petrol stations. We no longer go to fancy restaurants. We no longer order too much food. Yeah, I probably didn't need to get the focaccia. We eat plenty of bread because it's cheap and filling and I do a lot of home cooking. This is the lunch that I'm serving and I think he's not really happy. <laughs> I keep a bullet journal, uh, keep track of the dates and um, each day I have uh, the lead of missions done or the things to do. Also uh, what country we are and where we stayed. And this is the spending. I keep a really precise details of the money spending for the food also. So if you're interested, it's uh, in the description box below. I also keep record of the diesel consumption and spending in this uh, little tally book. I write down the date, location, kilometers, the price, and then I can uh, work out the car consumption. This is our favorite lunch bag. It's old, this one. We are not perfect, but we try to reduce the use of plastic bags. So we have those uh, little cotton sachets and we can use them for sandwich, for uh, fruit, dry fruit, nuts. And Steph's carrying her own little cotton sacks with her and every time we try to use them here they spin out and they don't want to do it, they want to give you a plastic bag. I like to reuse the empty jars for sauces, dips, flowers even. And ah, that's a little light that I've made. Sometimes I make a body scrub using uh, used ground coffee beans and coconut oil. It's a bit messy though. Because we love our food and we don't eat healthy all the time, it is important for us to stay active. We do a lot of rock climbing, a lot of hiking and running. And we also have a small and compact training kit which includes some uh, elastic bands, a skipping rope and a TRX which is a um, suspension training. This is really really good. And for motivation I keep track of what we do in my journal. Ah, and sometimes we have this kind of exercise as well. <laughs> So that's it for now. We hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please let us know and we will try to answer them if we can. Uh, we would also like to thank you guys uh, for the really positive response that we had to that patron video that we made. Yeah. Um, so thanks to all your advice. Um, we have decided we're going to commit, we're going to go for it. So it's officially up and running. Um, Yes, yeah, so stay tuned and uh, thank you very much again. See you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>